Hi there, and welcome to the review of our year at Belize Bird Rescue. 2023 was a relatively smooth year, actually. No major crises, thank goodness. I put that down to a combination of realistic planning, fabulous donor support, and a lot of luck. I probably jinx 2024 now. Please don't say I told you so when it all goes wrong next year. In terms of patient intakes, it was pretty average with 245 cases coming through our doors and we helped another 84 patients through the hotline. We actually worked with 75 different species this year, all with varying dietary and husbandry needs, unique temperaments, personalities, and all sporting their own weapons that we needed to be prepared for. <laughs> we released 119 birds with 174 still at BBR waiting for their day of freedom. Over a third of our intakes are parrots, and it can take anywhere from two to nine years for a former captive parrot to become wild enough for release, which means we always have a lot of beaks to feed, even when baby season is over. March to August is our busiest season, bringing us more than 70% of our year's intakes, including the majority of the 86 parrots we took in. Wild caught parrot rehab is our area of expertise, and it's no secret that it's our first love. This year we hand raised 52 babies released from the illegal pet trade and the rest are older parrots that had been in captivity for a while and were either surrendered by owners or confiscated by the forest department. We saw 41 raptors, the vast majority of those were owls and over half of those owls were barn owls. Because there's so many barn owls hunting and nesting in our busy towns and cities, any fallen nestlings are quickly noticed and rescued. These animals love to roost and nest in our roof spaces and unfortunately we're still asked to remove babies and that's usually when contractors are working on roof repairs and there's no option to wait for fledging. It's not ideal but at least we still get the calls. When we first opened BBR 20 years ago the accepted solution was simply push the babies onto the street to meet their fate. 2023 was also the year we finally predator-proofed our raptor barn. We pretty much stopped using the old one as it was way too dangerous for the rehab birds, despite our best efforts over the years to fix the problems. In the end, a complete rebuild was the only logical answer. It was eye-wateringly expensive, but worth every penny to be able to safely and successfully rehab and release our magnificent birds of prey. We also finished the two year long mammoth task of refurbishing and rewiring all the floors of the other enclosures to include, exclude those pesky digging critters. Once again, this was super expensive, but totally worth it for our peace of mind and the complete safety of the parrots inside the aviaries. We helped out 14 members of our toucan families this year. There were three built, uh, sorry, three keel built toucans, two emerald toucanets and 10 collared arasaris. Toucans need careful feeding as they can die from too much iron in the diet. They also lose their fear of humans very quickly and raising single toucans is a challenge indeed. This year we had one keel billed toucan who fell from an incredibly high tree before he was totally ready to fly. And even though he was only in rehab for a week and even though that entire time he fed himself from a dish and even though the minute he was flying he was put right back where he came from and his parents were right there with him he apparently still hangs out close to the humans now and again. We treated 32 water birds of 17 different species this year. The diversity amongst water birds tends to be overlooked by the public. Their habitats in Belize range from freshwater streams and rivers, lakes, ponds, even puddles, and temporary or permanent marshland, mangroves, lagoons, shoreline, all the way to sandbars, the keys, and the vast open ocean. They eat fish, of course, but also, depending on the species, they can eat vegetation, mollusks, insects, lizards, snakes, rodents, frogs, even other birds, and especially hatchlings of other water birds. One of our favorite releases are those of the ocean birds, and especially pelicans. You can completely see the joy in their flight, and it makes their rehab worth every fishy minute. Another extremely broad cap category is the one which encompasses pretty much everything else on the Belize species list, and that's our song and forest bird category. This year we treated 57 patients of 27 different species, again with various different habitat and rehab needs. These can be migrants or residents, they can be babies that need hand raising or downed adults needing medical care or just a little respite from the hard world that they occupy. Their dietary requirements include seeds, fruits, berries, nuts, insects, grubs and worms. We never seem to get a good picture of our songbirds. They're always in the smaller mesh cages and they're super stressy and instinctively wild. 
so we hate to disturb them unnecessarily. 2023 was also the year we renewed our legal operational agreement with the Forest Department. Since COVID, we've been working under permission letters, but finally, at a ceremony at the Belize Zoo this year, we signed our new agreement with the Government Ministry and the Forest Department. Our new official memorandum of understanding finally includes squirrels, sorry, squirrels, which are our favorite rehab mammal. We raised and released three of those little guys this year. They are totally adorable. We love working with squirrels. And I know I've talked about this a lot since it happened in October, but one of the highlights for me personally has to be the I4 Animal Action Award. It was a massive honor to be chosen as one of the only five recipients, and it was such an incredible experience all around. It's also fabulous recognition of the work that everyone at BBR carries out, not to mention kudos to conservation efforts in Belize in general. The videos of the acceptance speech and interview with I4 have been uploaded to our YouTube channel if you fancy watching them. Although for many reasons we're still unable to accept interns, we did welcome back some really familiar faces this year. Bill Wasserman, Dr. Gemma, Dr. Sophie, Rachel Levia, Helen Piquet and Lauren Whitfield all paid us a visit. Actually, Lauren, along with the fabulous Jonathan Abina, kept BBR under expert management right in the middle of baby season while I had to run back to the UK for 10 days in July. Yep, right in the middle of baby season. Jonathan and Lauren were amazing and did an incredible job. And a month or so after that, I4 persuaded me to go back again to receive the award in October, which I totally could not have done if it hadn't been for Jonathan taking over again and flying solo this time. A totally mad year with two trips away, considering I can go years without leaving the property even for just one overnight trip. In between being BBR management, Jonathan also designed and built this unbelievable truck topper, which was definitely one of the highlights of the Belmapan Independence Day Parade. It was a total crowd pleaser, Um, and I have even bigger plans for next year, so Jonathan, you have been warned. Okay, I want to end this review with a huge thank you to each and every one of you who have supported us and donated in any way to the work that BBR does. Without your contributions, we literally wouldn't be able to continue. The organization relies completely on the generosity of donors to fund the rescue and rehab programs with our annual operating budget of 120,000 US dollars. If you wanna know more about how the money's spent and how you can help, please check out the donate page on our website. Rest assured, every single dollar adds up and seriously, no gift is too small. And forgive me for repeating myself, but we honestly and truly cannot help these birds without your support. So thank you to all of you for making this year possible. We want to wish you and your loved ones a very, very happy, healthy and peaceful 2024. With love from all of us at Belize Bird Rescue. Our gratitude. Thank you.